that these type of questions where you need to reach outside of a table to actually get something is achieved using a outer join. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems covering diverse aspects of such as select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and finally window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called customer who never order and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the second video of this series called customers who never order and if I look at the companies this question has been asked in so Amazon, Apple, Bloomberg, Adobe a number of times very important questions. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called customers with two different columns ID and name ID being the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table indicates the ID and the name of a customer. We are also given a second table called orders with again two different columns ID and customer ID. ID is the primary key for this table. Customer ID is a foreign key that is a reference column of the ID from the customer's table. Each row of this table indicates the ID of an order and the ID of the customer who ordered it. Okay. We are asked to write a solution to find all customers who never order anything. Order of the result does not matter. So here let's look at an example and see what do we need in our output. So for example here we have four different customers and various orders. So there are two different orders order ID 1 and 2 ordered by customer ID 3 and 1. Customer ID 3 is Sam. So Sam has ordered something. Customer ID 1 has ordered something. So 1 is Joe. So Joe and Sam have ordered something. So the customers who have never ordered anything are Henry and Matt and that is what we have in our output. To solve this we have learned in our previous SQL 50 series that these type of questions where you need to reach outside of a table to actually get something is achieved using a outer join. Left join, right joins etc are examples of outer join that is you reach out to another table to get information. So for each of the customers we can perform a left join to get okay for every customer what all orders they have made because once once we know that for all the customers who have made orders then it is very easy to identify who all have not ordered anything so what i'm saying is from this table called customers let me alias this as c left to join the orders table aliased as o on c dot id is equal to o dot customer ID. Remember the question says customer ID column of the orders table is a foreign key of the ID column of the customers table. Okay, let me go ahead and return everything. So let's see what do we have in our output. Okay, so let me go ahead and run this. Okay, so if I look at our output, so here we have for all the customers here that we have in our customers table, what are the orders that are associated with it? So Joe ordered something, Sam ordered something. So obviously when you are not ordering anything, there is no going to be nothing in the orders table. So for those customers, there will be nulls in the columns coming from the orders table because there was no match. So obviously we are interested in only those types of customers who are not ordering anything. So we need to make sure that we are only considering those rows where any of these two columns either the id or the customer id it makes more sense to include the id because this id represents the order id so o dot id is null basically this signifies all those rows where there was no order placed right so for these type of rows we need to return the names of the customer and this should be aliased as customers so name column comes from the customers table so we write c dot name and this should be aliased as customers okay since we do not need to order this let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was perform and apply our logic of left outer join so we perform that and since we are only interested in don't customers who have not ordered anything so order id related to them would be nulls and because of that we are going to return the names of such customers so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video